So in this segment, we're going to be talking about how the government has failed um, disadvantaged children by not actually getting them enough laptops and um, devices. And they've had almost a year to do it. And um, this should come as no surprise to anyone, to be honest. And um, the more I dig into the story, the more annoyed I think you're going to get. So let's go. So there are concerns. Uh, some schools in lockdown could be inundated with pupils without laptops after a change to the vulnerable pupil list. Pupils are learning remotely in England after schools were closed on Tuesday to all but uh, children of key workers and those deemed vulnerable. But those children um, without laptops or space to study um, are now eligible uh, are now eligible to attend school under government guidance. So basically, if they don't have space to study, if they don't have a laptop, the government's saying then go to school, which makes sense. But the thing is, um, the more children that are in schools, the more COVID can spread. So what you really want to do is give these kids devices they can use and internet connection so they don't have to go to school. Schools he um, head union NAHT said the move could reduce the uh, effect of the shutdown. Schools were ordered to close to most pupils and um, to, uh, to help limit the virus. And so here, here's one example. So nearly a third of the 2000 head teachers who joined um, an online union meeting on Wednesday afternoon reported to having between 20 and 30 percent um, pupils in school. The NAHT said Mr. Whiteman said it is critical that key worker key worker school children places are only used when absolutely necessary to reduce the number and spread of the virus we have concern that the government have not supplied enough laptops for children without them and so it has made the lack of internet access a vulnerable criteria only adding to the numbers in school so his problem is there's too many kids in school because of this government has changed but my argument would be that the government haven't given these kids the stuff they need in order to um in order to um you know do um, home learning. So Jane Gert, this example um, I was meant to mention, Jane Gert, head teacher of Carlton Bowling College in Bradford said the rule change could leave her having to accommodate an extra 200 pupils on top of those already on the key worker and vulnerable children list. She told BBC News that having so many pupils in school would defeat the object of closing amid the England wide lockdown. Um, Miss Gert said the, her, secondary, uh, her secondary, which has more than 1,500 students, had received 261 laptops from um, the government since March, but about 50% of pupils were sharing a device with another family member. And so here, you have to have individual devices for individual children because you can't share. It don't make sense. Um, the Prime Minister told uh, MPs on Wednesday that 560,000 devices had been given out to schools in 2020 and a further 50,000 so far this week. So what you have is about 600,000 and we'll talk about why that's nowhere near enough. And Gavin Williamson reiterated that those without access to remote learning via digital um, devices could attend school. But the whole point of this shutdown, Mr Williamson, is so kids don't go to school to um, stop the spread of this virus which your government has failed to deal with. Um, and if we look at the numbers quickly... Um, the numbers quickly let the FT article load I mean look at us compared to the United States the European Union France and Germany we're double we might be even we're triple I think we're we're over triple um, you know France and Germany it's crazy it's crazy I'm telling you and so um, we go back to uh, here so better prepared, he said schools are better prepared to deliver online learning with the delivery of hundreds of devices at breakneck speed, data support and high quality video lessons. Again, Williamson talking absolute dribble. I'm not going to bother reading this. It's a joke. Um, hey, but Ofcom estimates that there are 1.5 million pupils without digital uh, devices in their homes on which they can learn. And so what you can learn from this is the fact that the government haven't done enough, nowhere near enough. And if you look here, Paul Brand of ITV saying online learning is going to have to be rapidly ramped up this week. Ofcom says, like like the article states, up to 1.1, a 1.8 million children have no laptop or other device. The government has promised 1 million laptops. So the government's promise isn't even enough to deal with the uh, problems we have. The government's promise isn't enough to deal with the problems we have right now. Government has delivered around 500k so far. So in the space of a year, almost a year since March, or say April, right? They haven't been able to deliver laptops. Why? And I can give you a couple reasons as to why. Um, but um, yeah, so this man here is a Tory donor. He has been given a one hundred million pound contract, uh, one hundred pound million, uh, one hundred million pounds worth of contracts to supply laptops to disadvantaged childrens without an open tender. So that means this is another no bid contract. So uh, what's it called? Computer Centre. Limited was chosen by the Department of Education to deliver 230,000 laptops to vulnerable children after the COVID um, school lockdown. Private Eye 
revealed this week that the film's founder, Sir Philip um, Holm, I think I see him, who remains a non-executive director and shareholder, has previously donated a hundred thousand pounds. So what you can tell here is, you know, this is friends of the Conservative Party, and he's not the sole reason. He's only got two hundred thirty thousand. Um, uh, was it two hundred thirty thousand laptops? He's meant to deliver. We don't know if how many he's delivered, um, but what you can see is more of Tory Party and friends um, on the list. And um, it's no surprise, really. It's no surprise that this has happened, and it's one of the key reasons why they won't be able to get the laptops up because they're giving money to their friends instead of actually giving, talking to suppliers. Bro, you you're ordering that many laptops, you can literally contact Intel, AMD themselves to to then help you get um, contact with you know, laptop manufacturers, Dell, HP, Lenovo. That's how you could have done this, but instead you chose to be stupid. Um, here you got Professor Kate Williams saying that 96 million pounds, uh, million pound contracts to give laptops etc to kids in deprived areas were given in April so that's almost a year talking about um, you know how many how many months is that since since April April is the fourth month of the year so about nine months they haven't been able to do this you guessed it it's a Tory donor firm and there has been no open tender and now I see charities are stepping in so what, what that's telling you is um, that the government's failed again when charities have to step in that's government failure and uh, you know we're going to be talking about Gavin Williamson a bit more in this in this um, segment because Gavin Williamson has messed up again. It turns out. So um, this is great work from the Mirror and uh, Mikey Smith, uh, where he talks about BT had offered you know vouchers. For, um, so Gavin Williamson turned down an offer to get free or cheap broadband for thousands of disadvantaged families. The Mirror has learned broadband giant BT offered to supply families basic connections to allow children to access online learning with schools closed for months during the COVID-19 pandemic and the firm's chief executive revealed they had given free Wi-Fi vouchers to the government in June but the Department of Education struggled to distribute them effectively so here you have a company BT handing you the solution handing you a solution when it comes to helping disadvantaged kids with broadband it's not that hard for you to figure out who needs them it's not that hard you can literally look down a list of vulnerable children the ones that are on free school meals and then you can look at the list of the ones who are the most impoverished you could contact them and say look uh bt have offered these vouchers you know can you switch supplier or if you're with bt here's some vouchers you can literally do that i know um wi-fi is typically with contracts but then what you could do is you could talk to the other companies and see if you can make deals with them as well but you chose not to, Gavin Williamson. Why? Absolute idiot. This this guy, this guy is. I think he's in the top five worst stories for me. This guy's the top five worst. And so, you know, Gavin Williamson here failing to deliver uh, laptops to children who need it, failing to give out free Wi-Fi vouchers given by BT. BT handed you this. A company handed you this, and you failed. If it were me, I would have looked down that list and seen which children need it the most, and contacted them from there. If it was me getting the laptops, I would have contacted these big companies because you're talking about 1.8 million pounds, uh, 1.8 million uh, laptops. You're talking about potentially 1.8 million laptops, right? Which co companies will bite your hand off to get a deal like that? They'll give you bulk price deals to get a number like that. Anything, you know, 100k laptops, 200k laptops. They'd win endless PR battles by saying, look, we're helping these kids get online and helping them learn. But you idiots, you idiots give it to your mates because that's who you are, you're corrupt. You're corrupt, you're stupid. You failed the taxpayer, you failed the public. I don't know what more to say. I don't know what more to say about this. You know, I hope there's a public inquiry into all of this because honestly, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just getting more and more annoyed reading these stories. So much anger because you failed these children. You know, we talk about this great country where people can achieve anything, that's a lie. Because these children's chances have been even more limited, not because, not just because of a pandemic, not just because of the failure of the government to deal with a pandemic, but a government's failure to actually give them the supplies they need to achieve in life. Basics. A laptop and internet connection. Basic. Even if you gave them a tablet with a keyboard, that's better than nothing. But you failed to do that. And now you're letting these children, again, go back to school, which is the right thing to do in this situation, but then you're you're still keeping the spread of coronavirus because these children can spread it really easily and um it's just it's just embarrassing it's embarrassing honestly um i don't know what more to say about this um i'm gonna leave it there let me know what you think in the comments below like comment share subscribe and hopefully i'll see you in the next one